wake up at one. He said it's not true. When we arrived at Medugri, he went after the pastors who came to receive me and asked them, who is this man? One of them said to him, if he lays his hand on you, the sicknesses that could have attacked you 10 years in future will be taken away now. If he lays his hand the second time on you, money will start running after you. If he lays his hand the third time on you, health will be your gift. This man had said to me, I am a federal minister. If you tell me who you are, I'll give you land in Abuja. And I said, where I come from, we are not excited about building any house in Abuja. We don't even like Abuja. <laughs> I want you to know who you are. That heaven knows your name and has a camera on you this night. Should make you happy. Make you happy. Make you happy. Make you happy. Can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah somebody? This God has promised that whatever you lay this hand to do, why don't you repeat it to yourself? Say, whatever I lay this my hand to do shall prosper. doesn't matter what your enemies say. They are only just the word of the mouth. Do you know this man who said he had served as federal minister before fell on the floor and sat down and said, Oka, I won't let you go until I know who you are. Hey, you are wasting your time. That's not my program and schedule this day. I'm on my way to somewhere else. beginning today. When your enemies see you, they will hug you. They will greet you. The book of Second Kings says they will give you gifts. They will give you bread. When your enemy gives you gifts, it means there is a reconciliation. Is that correct? All your enemies shall now seek to reconcile with you. Because your life commands attention. Nobody shall ignore you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> in 1972, I was in Honor. There used to be a pontine that used to move us from Eket to Honor. We were waiting for the pontine to come. Somebody walked up to me and asked me, are you the governor we're expecting? And I said, uh, Yes. Can you bring the pontoon? He said, yes, sir. <laughs> Beginning tonight, your dress will command attention. Read on, sir. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. The Lord shall make you. Why don't you raise your hand and say, The Lord shall make me plenteous in goods. Can we see the book of Psalm chapter 35, verse 27? 35, 27. Let them shout for joy. Let them shout for joy. And be glad. And be glad. That favor my righteous that favor cause. God's righteous cause. Yeah, let them say continually. Let them say continually. Let the Lord be magnified. Let the Lord be magnified that pleasure. has great pleasure in the prosperity, in the prosperity of, of his, his children. Servants. Your prosperity makes God happy. I have never heard a testimony that said I want to thank the world that God made my son a beggar. If anybody will be a beggar, not your son. And that's what God is saying this night. This God will rejoice when you prosper. When you no longer beg for money. When you don't borrow again. When you owe no man. The young man that gave me 13 billion naira said he was owing everybody. And I said in seven years time, you'll be the seventh richest man in Nigeria. He asked me, how can that be? 
my poverty claps. <laughs> when your poverty claps and God performs a miracle, it will be an outstanding miracle. Right where you are, the opposite shall happen. If you owe you, you owe no more. If you don't know what to do to create wealth, God will show you what to do to create wealth. The book of Job speaks of God's school for you. He says you open your ears and seal your instructions. Beginning tonight, your sleep shall no longer be any sleep. It shall be a school where God will be teaching you what to do to prosper, to, to pay your bills, to be the man you want to be. What a day. This is a great day. As we take the Holy Communion tonight, just remember, Jesus suffered and died to banish poverty out of your life. And that poverty must go. It must go. I, I just got a call today that a man I know in America had been preaching prosperity to a point that poverty had been banished in that church. And I told them we will be second in that group. We are going to banish poverty. God will punish poverty. <laughs> right where you are, stand up. Tell God what you want him to do for you now. Tell him what you want him to do for you. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. Oh, twin, they get the number. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. Oh, twin, they get the number. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. Oh, sweet, they get the number. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. It is a bang way, bang way. Oh, sweet, they get the number. It is a bad way, hiding anywhere. Any pain hiding anywhere must now become pleasure. Father, every swollen area in anybody's body shall now be flattened out. Father, whatever makes anybody here to cry, shall make him or her to laugh. Move from person to person. From family to family. Whoever is crying and say, Where is my God? Arise! And scatter his enemies. Father, let an angel be assigned to everybody here. And let the angel become your people's bad men. And let them fight for your people. Fight for them. Fight for them. Fight for them. Fight for them. 
That road they closed shall now open. And what they took from your people shall be returned to them. Arise! Thou the almighty God. Arise! Thou whose power has no measure nor comparison. Arise! And wipe away the tears of your children. Arise! And set your people free. Arise! And bring healing to your children. Every barrenness is banished. Every woman that has a womb shall now be a mother. A mother, a mother, a mother. Father, rise up. Poverty is banished. Pour out your oil upon the hands of your children. Whatever they shall lay their hand to do shall prosper, shall prosper, shall prosper, shall prosper. Shall prosper. And we will drink of your blood and eat of your flesh. We shall become 1,000 times stronger. Mighty God. Mighty God. No man is allowed to intimidate your children in the presence of their father. Therefore, no problem, no sickness shall intimidate us in your presence, in your presence. No, no, no happen. Father, arise. The reason you went to the cross shall not be realized. You went to pay the price of good health and long life and prosperity and promotion. It shall now begin to flourish in the life of everyone here. Father, nobody shall cry without heaven responding. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Every sin is forgiven. Every sin is covered with the blood of Jesus. They shall be remembered no more. About this time next year, it shall be said of everyone, see what God has done for you. Father, arise! And let the world know we are your children. Let an angel be assigned to every man here. And let the angel be our Batman. A Batman fights for the master. The angels will fight for us. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Give the Lord the resounding clap of faith. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the glory thunder. Thy world throughout the universe display. This is my soul, my Savior God today. How great thou art.
Reveal yourself to everyone who is part of our service tonight. Let them feel you. Let them see you. Let them hear you. For you have taken over the battles. They will fight no more. You have fought for them. Every stone thrown at your children shall now become the stepping stone to greatness. Every voice that speaks against anybody here shall speak no more, speak no more, speak no more, speak no more. Father, bless your people. Turn their lamentation into laughter. Turn their disgrace into grace. Turn their disappointment into supernatural appointments. Those who mock them shall spread them. Let the miracle begin. Nobody shall go back the same. Thank you. For you have honored my prayer. For I prayed in Jesus' name. All those who know that have had a miracle this night, can you quickly run to the altar? I want to seal you with prayer before we take the communion. Nyinu medio ni no fiubo Nyinu medio ni no fiubo ngandi nyanga Nyinu medio ni no fiubo Nyinu medio ni no fiubo ngandi nyanga Nyinu medio ni no fiubo Nyinu medio ni no fiubo ngandi nyanga shall escape everyone who has confessed to being healed shall receive his or her healing it shall be a lasting healing and your people shall rejoice in the day of your power when we shall break up this service nobody shall block her away we shall all get to them safely and protected let your people grow in spiritual faith. May they gain access into the commandments of the Bible that they may become commanders of the kingdom beginning today. Father, nobody shall ignore them anymore. At their appearance, doors shall open. Father, thank you for loving us, for making us somebody when we were nobody. Thank you for treating us as eagles, not as chicken. As we go tonight, bless everyone with a singing heart. May we sing as we go home. When we get to may we dance for you. May you dwell in our homes. Father, may our 
watching angel be at the door of our homes to wait for our enemies as they make entrance and let this angel of yours fight our battles I declare you blessed, healed pampered petted and they shall be a great and extraordinary people it shall be so in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You go back to your seat. The elders will announce how we take the communion. Am I now? Eye na ba se amana aye. Amana. Eye na ba se amana sosongo. Amana mo, eye na basi amana mo, sosongo. Amana, eye na basi amana, sosongo. Oh, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, sosongo. Amana mo, amana mo, eye na basi amana, sosongo. Oh, amana mo, amana mo, eye na basi amana, amana mo, sosongo. Amana mo, eye na basi amana so so. Oh, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana night your son brought out the bread and called it his flesh he said eat for this is my body given for the salvation of the world given that the power of poverty may be broken given that we may be redeemed from the market of poverty let the miracle now begin. As we eat and drink, let there be a great recognizable difference. Your children shall beg no more. They shall borrow no more. They shall owe no more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And that same night, Father, he brought out wine and called it his blood blood that was shed for the new covenant we now have a new covenant with you Hallelujah. that we shall no longer dwell in poverty Amen. we shall no longer be beggars we shall borrow no more we shall owe no more yeah. we shall have creativity and imagination and resourcefulness Amen. we shall be men of wisdom men of understanding men of power also Father, we are no longer ordinary persons. Let the miracle of prosperity begin. May we, dear Lord, rise above where we are and be what you want us to be. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, I dedicate the two items to you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why give us a song?
the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Oh, the blood.
happy. Raise your right hand and shout excitedly and exuberantly. Shout ex excitedly and exuberantly. Shout hallelujah two times. The key to the house in London is in my hands. <laughs> awesome God. We are now going to dedicate that house. Father, you know where the house is located. Please, no more noise making. Please. The Bible commands and demands. You be still and know that he is God. Stop noise making. I don't know if you know, only an empty tin makes noise. Father, I raise these keys up to you that you may locate this house, whatever it is in London. That an angel be sent to sanctify this house, purify this house, and make it a house that no arm robber shall locate. Amen. Father, when your son shall sit in that house, great ideas, supernatural ideas shall come to him. Amen. May he enjoy good health. May he enjoy a long life. Amen. From that house, dear Lord, he will demonstrate his promotion and lifting. Amen. Father, I sanctify that house on every side of that house. No cockroach shall be found there. No ant shall be found there. It shall be a place dedicated and consecrated unto you. A place of promotion and lifting. A place of honor. Father, let your son sleep like, like a pregnant night nurse. Let him enjoy his life in that house. And let your angels keep watch over that house. Father, he will increase in wisdom. He will increase in knowledge. He will increase in understanding. What he had never done before, he shall do them. I declare him promoted. I declare him blessed. I declare him multiplied. I declare that all his needs shall be met. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Give God a good clap up for somebody. Next week, the first hundred people to arrive here shall be given each a Bible, a clean Bible. I want you to come on time. So I will have more time to dwell on the Word of God. Next Wednesday shall be Wednesday of Solidation. I want you to raise up your hand as the chairman comes to the speaker. So members of the transport committee, see me. Uh, members, yes, see me. So I can sort out your transport problems. <laughs> 